Hey everybody, this is Miss Durham here with another video. Okay, uh, you all, we're on module one, lesson 11 and grade five. So my students know that it's at the top. This means grade five, module one, and then lesson 11. And tonight we're talking about homework. So do Miss Durham a favor, before you forget, go ahead and hit the like button. Yes, I need those likes. And then also hit the subscribe button, you all, so you can subscribe. You can watch the videos. You see when I post a new video. And then also, you'll be able to stop and rewind the video as much as you like. So go ahead and do those two things for me. All right, buddies, let's get started. We're going to talk about the homework tonight. Let me see if Miss Norm can enlarge the problem here. All right, it says solve by drawing a place value chart. Okay, and then write an equation and express the product in standard form. So, sweet pies, honey bunches of oats. When we were in class uh, today, we learned how to do these particular problems three different ways. Old school, standard form. We also learned how to use a place value chart to do our multiplying decimals. And then we also uh, learned how to do area models. So here, it looks like they want us to use the uh, place value chart. Okay, and then they also want us to do standard form. Right, so that's old school, okay, and then also place value charts. So let's get started. One A says two copies of four tenths, okay, two copies of four tenths. So if we're going to use place value chart, I'm going to draw a place value chart here. Here would be my decimal, this would be the ones place. One place value to the left of the decimal, one place value to the right of the decimal is the tenths place. All right, our particular problem here says four copies four of ten. I mean, I'm sorry, four tenths. So that means that this is a four in the tenths place. Now, some teachers teach their students to draw a place value disc, but since we're in fifth grade, you all, we don't. I'm not doing place value disc for us this year. Okay. We're going to use numbers because you all, this is your transition into using actual numbers in the standard form. So we're going to put our number four in the tenths place, remember? Now we need to ask ourselves how many copies of four do we need? We need two, so that means I need one more four. I have two four copies of tenths, right? We're going to add those together. Four plus four equals eight, and our answer is eight tenths, okay? Very good, eight tenths, or I could have said eight tenths which really means that there's an eight in the tenths place, okay? Now, they didn't want you to just stop at place value, okay? They want you to also do standard form, okay? So let's do standard form. We know that two copies of four tenths means multiply. So I'm gonna multiply two times four tenths Mm -hmm. Okay, 4 times 2 equals 8. And now we count the place values behind the decimal. One place value. So I move my decimal over. The new answer is 0 0.8. Just like we had before. 8 tenths. Or sometimes you'll see it written like that. Okay? Easy peasy, let me squeeze stuff, right? Let's try the next one. Mr. Storm's going to erase. And see if I can move the board up. Are they going to let me do it? Yes. Okay. Here we have four, time, uh, four times seven tenths. That's easy. They worded it pretty well, right? But they wanted us to use a place value chart. So let's use a place value chart. And I'm sorry my voice is out. You all, I'm not feeling too good. But it'll be okay. All right, here's the ones place. And then to the right of the decimal, the first place value is the tenths place. And it looks like that's all we need because we have seven tenths here, right? So I have to put a seven in the tenths place. But then how many sevens do we need? This says four times seven tenths. So I need four of those. Two, three, and four. Now we add together. Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. I can do it the long way. Seven plus seven is 14. Two fourteens equals 28, or I know seven times four equals 28. So this would equal 28 tenths, okay? Now we have a task because 28 tenths how do we write that in standard form? This really means that there's a 28 and it ends in the tenths place. So I'm going to draw my place value places here. So that's my decimal. This is the tenths place. And this number must end in the tenths place. Let me see if they'll let me move it. Oh, they'll only let me move it here. I'll draw another one over here. 
Now, if I move that 28 and it ends in the tenth place, very good. That means that this would be 2.8. Okay? So, when you have those numbers and they're written in unit form like that, 28 tenths, that really means that this 28 ends in the tenth place. Okay? So, I'll try it again for you. 28 must end in the tenth place. Here's a decimal. Here's the tenth place. My number 28 must end in there. So I'll put the 8 here and the 2 goes next door to the next size place value. So 2.8 is our answer. Okay. Now they want us to do it old school, standard form, right? Standard form. So Ms. Norman's going to try to erase. Okay. And then we're going to set the problem up uh -uh, standard form, right? All right. It says 4 times 7 tenths. I can do 4 times 7 tenths. 7 times 4 is 28. Now we have to count our decimals. There's only one decimal here, one place value behind it, so I'll move that here. And the new answer is 2.8. Same thing we got before. Different methods, but the same answer. Okay, different methods, but the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity to show box methods while we're here. Okay, so when you're doing box method or area model okay you take your area model here and now I have to represent seven tenths I'll put seven tenths at the top and how many times or how many multiples of seven tenths do we need four four times seven is 28 and you bring down your place value 28 tenths and we know that 28 tenths equals 2.8 there's a 28 that ends in the tenth place okay uh, do we need to do 9 times 10? I think I'm going to stop here.